There's another one, and this fella's not budging, I'm telling you. What now? Jeez. If it was clean, you wouldn't be in there. My good God. Did you think it would work on the fifth flush, did you? Huh? Could have told you. You're wasting your time. How'd you get rid of the last one? With great difficulty. My arm was in and out like a fiddler's elbow. I had to throw away the loo brush. It was stuck to it like creosote. And you said you'd get me a new one. And we need some more biscuits. Okay, I'll get you a new one. What's mum done? Arid, this would never have happened on your mother's watch. God rest her soul. She'd have found out who the culprit was and slung him. There's something about this fella. What was the special yesterday? What if we put boiling water down there? Jesus, what are you making? A soap? You help me, mate. Yeah, sorry, mate. Got a bit delayed. Got a bit uh, shit tracked, side tracked. Yeah, well, I've gasped for a hair of the dog, and uh, <laughs> I got me a gut wank. So I tell you what, give me, uh, give me. What are they? So, uh, were you in last night, mate? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's all a bit of a haze to tell you the truth. <laughs> that is £3.40, please, mate. 3 40 yeah. 3 40 Hey. I need some cash for the cab. You should have called me. I've had a picture up. No, it's more than that. Ten? It's not enough. Uh, where'd you come from? Victoria? I hitched. I don't use trains anymore. Yeah, and you don't drive. Uh, so, how are you going to get around? On a tuk-tuk? <laughs> you might be happy lying in the pockets of fat cats. Not for me. No all thanks. Alright, alright. How much? 140. Did you see that game last night? No. Don't watch football. I hate football. Oh. Have you ever had a reading done before? Well, I, I did see the Mackay lady from down the lower road. Mm. Oh, do you know her? Oh, blimey, it's a wonder you've any faith left. All money, for that matter. I am not speaking out of turn when I say there are a lot of people who thought that she was not otherworldly. Oh. Don't get me wrong, some people liked her, and some people thought she was a bit fucking shit. Oh. Well, she didn't give a lot away. Mm. But I did. Well, I definitely have nothing to hide. What you see is what you get. Oh. Oh. You see? There's nothing up my sleeves, lady. Oh, 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 what's that? That? That's my little fox hunt. Vera. Vera will know what to do. 
Sorry, I've got a rule about passing on that sort of information. Yes, even the Thunderball, I'm afraid that is not our purpose. I'm gonna have to get that. Oh, it's all right. I wasn't talking to you. Oh. Hi, Vera. Listen, something amazing has just happened to me. Yeah, I've just, I've just, it's like an, an out of body experience or something, or a, or a premonition. Clive, calm down. I don't know what you're on about. You have got to see this. Look, it all sounds amazing. Whatever it is, just take a photo of it and then call me back later. All right, I'm with a customer. Oh yeah, yeah, right, yeah. £140. I haven't got that sort of money at all. I don't even think I've got that sort of money in the safe. You haven't done the tills yet, have you? It's nearly one o'clock. I've had a lot on while you've been getting a limo back from your kibbutz. It wasn't a kibbutz. It was a retreat in Wales. Oh, what's the difference? Look, it's just been a real culture if it's not too much of a culture shock, you get your ass behind here and I can get your money. Just get the money and leave it. What's the problem anyway? Down there. I woke up with a hangover the other day. Yeah, and? And I'd never had a drink the night before. So what's that all about then? And a full-blown, behind the eyes, hangover, stinking of booze, Shaky everything. Ah, oh, that's because of the amount you drink or have drunk. You see, you're such a fully fledged pisshead now that you've actually got hangovers in loo. Your intake's so large, you've got a backlog. Backlog of hangovers. Oh. Impressive, but I've seen bigger. Sorry? Yeah, well, you get no real idea of size, and uh, I didn't want to get my shoe wet. Oh. They say examination of one's stools is a genuine marker for one's health status. You what? <laughs> this boy must have popped out every blackhead on his back trying to rock that one out. <laughs> that That's not yours, then? No chance. I've got gut wank. I've been pissing at me arsehole for the past two days. I told you I recognised that voice! Oh, oh, oh my god! You look more like your mother every day. Oh, I know. <laughs> Who's this? He's harmless. Ah, uh, show me then. Ah. Oh, doesn't he look smaller on this yoke? Yeah, well, I've got nothing to give it scale. Scale? Scale. Scale? Squall. School? Scale. Oh, scale! <sighs> right. Stuart, what was the special yesterday? Stu. Stu, what was the special yesterday? Stu. Oh, you mean the special was Stu, not for me to call you Stu. So the special was Stu? Yeah, yeah, but I didn't have any though. Why not? I don't like my specials. You don't like your specials? Blimey, that is a special, isn't it? And you're special too, Stuart, aren't you? And maybe it's your special that's given us that little special gift in the gents. Come on, Steve, it's not that bad. If we look at it in a positive light, then it is positive. It's natural, healthy, and it seems to want to be here. This could be a good omen. A good omen? What are you talking about? That turd in that pan, that's you, that is. You, you don't stick to anything for more than five minutes and you flush it away and then you scurry back home for another handout. 
To help out my useless brother, you mean? I've tried, Steve. Really, I have. I don't want to be here any more than you want me here. But I made a promise. Oh, first of all, it's love the turd, then embrace the turd, then it's family turd. Now who's talking shit? That pub stinks. It's neglected. And you're a useless pisshead. Mum wanted us both here for a reason. It doesn't take a genius to work that one out. So you're like a breath of fresh air then? She certainly is. Oh, thanks, Clive. There really are some weird things, you know. Have you heard about the phenomenon of the brown note? No, what's that? It's this orchestra in Minsk, Albania, something like that. And they're special. Because not only do they play their instruments, they actually make them as well. That doesn't really come under the weird shit banner for me, mate. Look, just listen. Uh, there's this bloke in the orchestra, Sergei, something. He made what I guess must go down in folklore as some sort of super tuba. Some sort of super tuba. Yeah. And this instrument could go so low, get to such a low note, could go so low, if you heard it, if anyone heard it, you would instantly shit yourself. No way. Way. It caused instant bowel evacuation to any living thing that heard it. Hence the name. The brown note. Weird enough for you, shit wise? Yeah. Top of the morning to you. Flat leaking a plastic twat at 7.30 in the evening. Ooh, someone's a bit tetchy today. Must be that fragrant new member of staff I've been hearing about. Good poos travels fast. Not that one. You want to get the local rag in, get them to do a, a spot the turd competition. Or a who's baby. What's that supposed to mean? Oh, it's all right, mate. No need to lose your temper. I've not lost my temper, I'm just saying. What does that mean? Oh, I'm sorry, look, you've lost your temper. I'm just saying, no, what did that mean? Well, just calm down a little bit. I am calm. Oh, look, he's gonna lost his temper, hasn't he? Piss off. So basically, I wasn't doing it to get something at the end of it. It was something in itself. Wow. It's all about the journey, really. That's Bobby then. Oh well, he's just Bobby, and he's just Bobby. Yeah. He's getting on a bit, you know. He's a bit slow. Mm -hmm. Breath's a bit nasty. But you know, they're part of the family, aren't they? Mm -hmm. I mean, we make him sleep the other end of the bed these days. Yeah, he wasn't too happy about that at first. Who, Paul or the dog? <laughs> Honestly, Harry, he's been great about it. But the other night, we came straight here from work. We'd both had quite a long guard week, so we came straight to the pub. By the time we got home, he was already up there in bed, bless him. <laughs> we got in bed and we were tired. And, and we realised he'd peed all over the bed. Oh, and he Paul? Yeah, well, you know, we've been out all day. Can't blame him, can you? I mean, they're part of the family, aren't they? Yeah. And you know when you're just so tired and we just like looked at each other and just said, oh, let's just sort it in the morning. You know what it's like. Just mm -hmm. so tired, weren't you? Been busy. I'll be working hard tonight, yeah. yeah. He's good. Yeah. Oh. Uh, Bobby. Bobby. We're not going to put him down. Give me a whiskey, Steve. Are you alright, Flat? No, it's not. Something weird happened to you in there, didn't it? it? It was like a terrifying moment of clarity. In that moment, I knew I'll never be a dad. My flat. Jesus, four phantom pregnancies would have told you that. You must have had an inkling. Three, actually. Harry got you that.
Who is there? What? Did you get off that gut wank, bloke? Don't tell me that you didn't feel it too. Don't know what you're talking about. And I suppose Phantom Flatley is stunned into silence for no reason. That thing in there, whatever it is, looking into that bowl is like looking into the dark recesses of your soul. <sighs> I'll sleep easy tonight. No more tossing and turning. It's okay that he's dead. He didn't leave me all those years ago. I have closure. He's okay. He's at peace. I know that now. So what do you know? <laughs> Hello, son. Go and tell your mum Uncle Tommy he wants a nice juicy burger. You're not my dad. I think your mum might have something to say about that. God. It's like looking in a mirror. Someone from your past is going to come back and kick your hole in. Aren't they? Yeah, something like that. So, it's good and it's bad. Isn't it, Stuart? Yeah. Have you dealt with it yet? <sighs> How hard can it be? You are laughable, Steve. Right. The toilet is all sorted. What do you mean? That bloke who was in earlier asked for some help. And that's when I thought, the tongs. But Stuart, you're a chef. Don't worry. I wasn't going to cook it. Where is he now? going to be a rollover. Be that as it may, I've got Vera Hogman, aka Lady Vera, wanting answers. <gasps> the illustrated lady? What's that? Lady Vera, oh she has the gift. She has this elaborate tattoo of a fox hunt and there's people on horses and dogs and fields going all the way around the back until all you can see is a fox tail as it disappears up her nipsy. This is an investigation. Now I'm going to go through this one last time. This place was where that unfortunate man was last seen before the crash. Now, I know when people are hiding things, so don't even try it. Now, I can understand why that man wanted to get out of this pub. I can understand why he drove like a bat out of hell to get out of here. But what I can't understand, and maybe this is where you could shed some light, is how he come to crash his car covered in someone else's excrement. Excrement 
that induced hallucinations in any of my team who weren't wearing a gas mask. Now the toxology report on this is as long as my right arm. So I'm going to ask you one last time. Did this gentleman say anything of significance to any of you? He did say he had really bad gut wank. <laughs> <laughs>